the sixth day, God finished the work he had been doing. And he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had done. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all his work he had done. <clears throat> this is the story of the heavens and the earth at their creation. When the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, there was not yet any field shrub on the earth, nor had the plants of the field sprung up. For the Lord God had sent no rain on the earth, and there was no man to till the soil. But a mist rose from the earth and watered all the surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. The man became a living being. The Lord God planted a garden in Eden to the east and he put there a man, the man he had formed. The Lord God made to grow out of the ground all kinds of trees, pleasant to the sight and good for, for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river rose in Eden the river rose in Eden, watering the garden, and from there it separated into four branches. The names of the first, Fisson, which in circles, I'm sorry? It's all good. It's like all good. That's all? It's only got his first name. Uh, just like, just read the next one. Verse 15. Yeah. The Lord God took the man and placed him in the garden of Eden till it too, <clears throat> to till it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man thus, from every tree of the garden you may eat, mm -hmm. but from the tree of knowledge of good and evil you must not eat. For the day you eat of it, you must die. Then the Lord God said, This is not good that the man is alone. I will make him a helper for himself. When the Lord God formed out of the ground all the beasts of the field and the birds of the air, he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. For that which the man called each of them would be its name. The man named all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and the beasts of the field, but he found no helper like himself. The Lord God cast the man into a deep sleep, and while he slept he took one of his ribs and closed it in place with flesh. And the rib which the Lord God took from the man he made into a woman, and brought her to him. Then the man said, She is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for from man she has been taken. For this reason a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two become one flesh. That's the reading of the Word of God. Just so very quickly, and just summarize what um, Tony just read a while ago and the very core of that scripture is summarized in um, the two are united into one in maths one plus one is two but the maths of the Lord God is one plus one is still one because this is one plus one it becomes one the miracle of God's love united as one one flesh different culture, different upbringings, different past, miraculously put together as one by God himself. So it is God's hand and signature that is moving in your life. And I believe that God is going to honor that. Just a couple more of things before we go to the main event, which is based on your vows. The first hand of God upon man was when he admonished and appointed man to be the um, in charge of the garden. The garden is your family. The garden is you, your family. You're in charge of it. And God said that you know you are you are supposed to work on it and it's supposed to take care of it. That's that's what God said. But in essence, really through the passages that was read, God demonstrated his character, his being, and his character is love. And love is the one that brings you together, brought you together, I would say, united together, so the two becomes one. 
how is it possible? Number one, because God is the one who made it possible. Second point is that God is the one who created man and woman for each other. And uh, the woman was actually double refined by God because we were taken from man's or, you know, symbolically, of course, the two of you now are three to one spirit. <clears throat> Towards the end, <clears throat> let me just read this one passage and then we are going to go to the vows. Uh, God said that it is not good for you to be alone. And then, of course, you were created. The woman was created. And that purpose, that divine and supernatural move of God, was to make sure that he actually demonstrated who he is. He's the God of love. He's the God of relationship. He's the God of belongingness. He's also the God of unity together. And so <clears throat> today we have heard, we have witnessed, you have read through your Bible, which is what, 30 years old? Yeah, yeah a bit older than that. So it's a, uh, just reminding you of God's presence, because when two or three are gathered in his name, he's always there. going to do the exchange of marriage vows now if you can move ahead with it please. Thank you. I'm going to ask you Tony and Blanca and um, we're quite familiar with this but um, I know that this is probably your after all those years. Anthony John Long do you take Blanca Kirido to be your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold in trials and in temptations of life, in blessings of God's provision, good health for better or for worse, through plenty and want, through joy and sorrow, so long as you both shall live under the grace of God. Blanca Rodriguez Querido, do you take Antony John Long to be your lawfully wedded husband? looking at him, to have him to hold in trials and temptations of life, in blessings of God's provisions, in good health for better, for worse, through plenty and want, through joy and sorrow, so long as you both shall live under the grace of God. We're going to have your exchange of vows now, of course. I'm going to repeat these words after me, uh, Tony. I call, I call upon the persons, the persons here present, here present to witness, to witness that I, that I Anthony Long, yeah, Anthony John Long, Anthony John Long, take thee, take thee, Senor Blanca Rodriguez Kelido, to be, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. Say this repeat. And always, always, as my wife, 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 as my Call upon, I call upon the persons, the persons here present, present to witness, to witness that I, that I, I love her, love her, love her, love her, So the two witnesses and all of you are witnesses, but uh, legally the two of you are witnesses. 
you will be signing the contract. So you are supposed to hear and to have heard what they've said today. So you are you are really uh, good witnesses in terms of what's, what's happening today. Sorry. But, uh, you know, to read that too. Follow this way. Lanka. Lanka. This ring. This ring. I place on your finger. Place on your finger. It's for all to see. It's for all to see. But you are now. But you are now. My beautiful. Very beautiful. And glorious one. Glorious one. Wear it. Wear it. With pride. With the blessed assurance. assurance. That we belong to God. And to each other. According to his unfailing love, in Christ Jesus. Blessed assurance. With a blessed assurance that we belong to God, that we belong to God and to each other, and to each other according to His according to unfailing love in Christ, Christ Jesus. Just continue. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Now we're going to have the charge, um, wedding charge and blessings and prayer. Covenant. So you have exchange of vows, uh, you have uh, just exchange rings as well. Tony, manage your garden, you have bread, you are the garden keeper. Uh, adhere to God's word and name your future. So as a man, the acronym for a man is M A N. M stands for manage your garden, manage your family. A adhere to God's word. And name the future, which is good. Love Blanca as your beautiful wife, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, 25, verse 25. Love her as your own body. For a man who loves his wife actually shows love for himself. No one hates his own body but feeds and cares for it, just as Christ cares for the church. Make her holy, set apart, special, super special. Wash her in terms of the word of God. And always cleansing. He did it to present her to himself as a glorious church without spot or wrinkle or any kind of blemish. Instead, she will be holy and without fault. Lanka in. You are, your acronym is WOW. You are a WOW woman. Wonders of God, offspring and seed bearer of growth, wisdom from God. There's only, there are two things that you are admonished to do. Submit to Tony as your husband, as you submit to the Lord in everything. Ephesians chapter 5, 24, Colossians 3, 18. And then respect your husband. Respect, totally. respect simply means that it's um, fitting that you always not just praise him, but be proud, be, be proud of him whenever you talk in conversation. So, as wonders of God, God created a woman with double refinements because she was taken from one of the ribs of the man and closed up the opening ribs, thus becoming part of him. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the woman. So you are doubly refined. You are one, you have the wisdom of God because God has given you the kind of wisdom to be able to make the right decision. What is right and what is wrong always uh, admonishing by God's word. Let me just um, read a passage from Matthew 19 to 6. We're almost done. So then they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. 
So this will be your last marriage. No more repeats. Personal encouragement to you, Tony. Tony, God has gifted you as a good storyteller. You are a good reader and a good communicator. You should give to draw out the best of love God in her gentleness and shyness at times and to enhance your communication with each other. Use your skills as an adventurous risk taker to fulfill your God-given dreams for her. To travel together after all of this COVID-19. To be with her as your tour guide. As a sentimental person, always amaze her with your love and assure her your commitment to be patient with her and understanding her parts. You like history, you like context, you like the background. Everything in your house, they have stories to tell. Is that right? You love to associate, you attach certain things or certain objects with story. You love to store history and context and you remember things vividly in the past. Even the color, even the smell, even the sound, you remember them. Use them to bring color to your marriage and learn from the past. You are a very spontaneous person with a free and daring spirit to engage other people. Elevate her to the same level of excitement as you have. Discover the beauty of life together as God being the center of your marriage and relationship. Blanca, you, you are a sweet, gentle, with an open spirit. You seem to tame Tony. When it is time for him to listen and to settle down, which is a super excitement at times. It is not a competition. Who had the last say? It is not. You have what God has given you the patience to understand and value Tony for who he is. Don't walk away or give away or give him a cold treatment by being silent. But engage him in a loving and a gentle way because that's who you are. You're a very gentle person. Don't walk away from any kind of conversation without settling it down. Loving, you are a loving and gentle person, trustworthy, forgiving, compassionate. Teach Tony to listen in solitude, in silence, in moments. You are a loving person, loyal to Tony. Use these virtues or characters that you have for people to grace him, not to gossip with him, but to elevate him, to praise him, to honor him. And try what Tony loves to eat, explore, experience other things that you are not able to experience. Be adventurous because you love him too. We are, we are concluding almost and um, going to ask Tony and Blanca to put your hands on the Bible. promise according to God's word that you will be faithful to God's command that you promise that you're going to obey his words and that you will become more like Jesus in the name. Father in the name of your son Jesus Christ you are the miracle worker you raise the dead you created things from nothing you are God Almighty who created all of these things May your grace, may your blessing, may your love, Lord, surround them with your eternal love. May your supernatural move of your Holy Spirit surround them, Lord. That when there are moments of giving up in their relationship, you are there, Lord, to, to have that kind of encouragement and strength in their marriage. That when they are lonely, Lord, they will remain faithful to each other, never unfaithful, Lord. When temptations will arise, when, when um, temptations will arise to be unfaithful to each other, Lord, you will always be there and remain reminding them 
that you love them and you died for them. And Lord, thank you for you are here with, with them, for you are for them and with them. May your blessing continue to overflow in everything in every areas of their life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to light the candles now. So we're going to light the middle candle. And we're going to extinguish the two candles. We're going to extinguish it by the middle candle. As uh, witnesses, you are not just here for posterity, but you are hampered by this wonderful cup to walk with them. You have to walk with them in the midst of uh, trials and temptations. Do not take sides. Always do not take What is right is to preserve their marriage. Do not ever, don't even encourage them to separate or to divorce. Can you come to Encourage them to the best of your ability. Of course, that's their final say. But you are to sustain them, to encourage them, to bless them. So you, you are here because you are very close to your best. Um, we're, going to, um, we're going to have a contract signing, and then I'm going to declare you as husband and wife, and then you can kiss. Right? So we need to have this contract signing first. <laughs> Lady, uh, can I ask um, someone to carry this, please? Sorry. Sorry. Did you go to Walgreens? Is that the rule? Is that the rule? Is that the rule? Is that the rule? Is that We'll have the uh, signing of the contract. Very, very Nearly there. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> That's okay, you can just okay. lean on it. Okay. 
now we will call the witnesses, please. You can sign here if you want. You want to stay here. You can stay here, please. <coughs> Read your name. Read my name? Yeah, and then sign. Can you feel this? Mm -hmm. Okay, same thing. Think Print. and sign. No, I just went to the local establishment and they, they witnessed documents. Alright, you can stand up now, we're going to declare you. Alright, um, friends and relatives, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Anthony, John and Blanca Long to make this a bride. We now show married husband and wife. In Jesus' name, thank you. That concludes our ceremony. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.